name's Shelly, I'm a second grade teacher in California and I am so excited to share with you my experiences with Easel by TPT. Given the current state of the world, this pandemic has really forced teachers to adapt not only the way we teach, but also the way we assign tasks and collect data. And Easel by TPT has made this process so much easier by introducing not only a user-friendly way, but also a time-friendly way for teachers to digitize all kinds of different materials. So I want to explain to you how I use Easel by TPT in my own classroom and how I've utilized specific features to make not only my life, but my students' life a lot easier. First, I want to show you how I use ready-to-go Easel activities to digitally assign things to my students and show you some of the key features that I like to use in that platform. So to access the ready-to-go Easel activity, you're going to find it and select Open Digital Activity. And when you do, it is going to launch Easel by TPT. And I am going to use these second grade reading comprehension passages to show you how I might manipulate this. So with these, I only like to assign one or two passages at a time. However, as you can see, the whole product shows up here. So if I wanna get rid of some of these, I'm going to click on edit pages. And then because I wanna remove most of this product, I'm gonna go ahead and go up to the very top and click select all because whatever I select is what is actually going to be removed. So I'm going to select everything, and then I'm going to deselect the passages that I want to assign. So I am just going to assign the mirror and states of matter, so I'm going to deselect those pages and then click remove. So now all that's left are the actual passages I want my second graders to complete, and then I can click save changes, and you'll see the only pages left are the pages that I want them to complete. For this resource, I like to come up to the top and click answer box because it is a multiple choice uh, activity. I'm just going to insert an answer box. That way the kids have somewhere to type their answer, A, B, C, or D. And then I can just copy and paste an answer box into each of the questions. So there is a space for them to put their answer. As you can see on the fill in the blank ones, these are already populated because this is a ready to go activity. So I don't need to do anything for the short answer parts of these passages. I'm going to quickly put answer boxes for this multiple choice set, and then I will be ready to preview and assign. After I am done, I'm going to come up to the very top and select preview. This is where I make sure it looks exactly how I want it to look, and I don't need to go back and edit anything. It looks pretty good. I am happy with it. At the bottom, you can click through the pages to really make sure. And when you're ready to go, you're going to come up to the top and click assign and review. This is where you're actually going to assign this activity to your students. So in the top right, you're just going to click assign. And then you have a choice. You can either share it on Google Classroom or there is a link you can use if you guys don't use Google Classroom. And the second thing I want to show you is how you can use Easel by TPT to manipulate and enhance PDFs or materials that you have created yourself or things that you already have the rights to use. So now I'm going to upload an activity I created on my own. So to do that, I click on create and then I'm just going to upload the PDF that I created. And I'm gonna use all of these pages. So I just click select all and then import pages. So here is the activity that I created for my second graders to complete. Text feature at the top here allows me to go in and type my directions. So this didn't have directions, so I am just going to include the directions for my kiddos so they know what to do. I'm just going to type it out and then you can resize, center, make it any color that you want with all of these features at the very top up here. So you're gonna see, I'm going to center it and then make it bigger and adjust the text box to make it look exactly how I want. Another feature I love is this highlight feature. So if you have something that you really want the kids to make sure that they do, you can just go in and highlight it. I use this all the time. This is something that they would forget to do, so I would go through and highlight it. And then, because I created this, I can go in and add answer boxes wherever I want the kids to type or have any sort of answer to fill in. So I am going to do that now. 
preview, assign, and review steps are the exact same no matter where the PDF comes from. So as you guys can see, it is extremely user-friendly and very, very, very versatile. I really hope you guys found these tips useful. Again, this is how I implement Easel by TPT in my own classroom, and I highly recommend you try out these things in your own classroom. And all you have to do to get started using this free tool is to go over to easelbytpt.com and start creating. And before you guys go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and go subscribe to TPT over on YouTube for more videos. Happy teaching!